If you tinker with home labs and mini PCs or random gear that just loves to break at the worst possible time, then this tiny little package might be your new best friend. That's what she said. In here is the Cypede Nano KVM USB. So basically a mobile tiny crash cart that uses your laptop like my MacBook Air or hell, even a Chromebook as the keyboard, mouse, and monitor for, you know, broken PCs or things that aren't booting as expected. There's the mini PC. No need for drivers. It just works in the Chrome browser. Let me show you how this works. So we've got our Ace Magic S1, I think is what it's called. It's a mini PC, a basic mini PC. It's got HDMI out, USBs, of course, all the fun stuff. Imagine it won't boot for some reason, but it, it actually will. We're just pretending here, okay? Stick with me. So we're gonna just pretend that we can't get past, you know, a boot screen. We can't get it to post. We're essentially gonna take out this little guy, which is just this little box that has HDMI and USB-C in, HDMI, USB-C out, and a little toggle switch, and then a, sector, a, a separate extra USB plug on the side of it. So if we plug this into target side, we're gonna plug HDMI and USB into uh, into the the target machine that we wanna we wanna remote into, and then we're just gonna take a plain old USB C cable. Uh, well, this one is pretty nice; it comes with it. It's a USB C to USB A adapter cable. So, say you did have a Chromebook or a laptop or something that didn't have USB C on it, boom, you can use this. After we get signed in, we pretty much just hit usbkvm.cyped.com uses the HDMI see and then we'll pick the serial adapter USB serial adapter so we can use our keyboard and mouse on it that's it literally that is it I don't have to I mean I can open a virtual keyboard or send control alt delete or paste into it I can also change the resolution or well this has me change device because we have a built-in webcam and it essentially uses hi it essentially uses the USB as a KVM. Yeah, that is that is all it takes. Like, you can go full screen with it. You can keep it in a browser. So if you're jumping back and forth between a bunch of different things, if you're troubleshooting or whatever, but that's it. Literally, right now, I'm, I'm remoted into that Windows PC using my MacBook Air. So you set this little box in line between your target machine or server or whatever it is and your remote machine the thing you're using to console into it pretty sure this takes power over a usb which most usbs are powered these days i don't know if the power comes from one side or the other or both so i did some it work for a church in georgia when they were a customer and i used to live there we had a crash cart that had micro desktop on it as well as a monitor and keyboard mouse bunch of cables and stuff that was just for troubleshooting. We would take it around to the classrooms and different worship centers and things and be able to work on machines and printers and whatnot as needed on the, hey, this broke kind of scenarios. This would have been perfect for that scenario where I just take this in its little case with its cables that come with it and a laptop, MacBook, Chromebook even, plug into it, open it up through the browser and boom, I'm remoted into the machine or I'm consoled into a machine. Works on servers too. I've got a micro desktop server here that's in my home lab, my little sandbox, and I'm able to get to the login screen at root just by plugging into it. I like this little USB port on the side, a full size USB, the USB A, because essentially you can take like a flash drive or an external drive and plug into it and be able to transfer files to and from that target machine which can be super important in some troubleshooting scenarios. I mean, this really is a super lightweight, no software needed type of solution for USB KVM access. I have another one like this, but it does take an app. It works fine. And that's, you know, not the end of the world that I need an app on my MacBook to use the thing. But that's one less thing to troubleshoot on my end when I'm trying to troubleshoot for my end users. And it's it's aluminum. It's not, I mean, the ends are plastic, like the caps where the HDMI and USB are. The whole body is aluminum, so it feels rugged, like it's not going to break if I drop it off a desk or something. Just keep your expectations low or 
or keep your expectations in check, I guess I could say. You're not going to be gaming on this or using this. It's going to be average latency and a, a general lower resolution, which is fine because all you're doing is trying to work on a remote into a machine that's unable to get itself to a bootable state to work on it directly. Does that make sense? Anyway, of course, um, SciP did send this to me to review. Uh, no money exchanged hands as usual. They're not going to see this video until it's live on my channel, just like everybody else. So, of course, these are my own thoughts and my own experiences, just kind of playing with it in my home lab here. But realistically, being a field service tech, this can make things so much quicker. If you're interested, link will be in the description below. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this little KVM over USB device. And I'll see you nerds on the next one.